four vehicles. You're watching the Fox 13 10 o'clock news with John Wilson and Kelly Ring. From the Beatles to the Monkees, New Kids on the Block to New Edition, or in sync and the Backstreet Boys. Every generation of boy bands has two things in common. A loyal base of screaming teenage groupies and an endless cash flow that comes along with them. A resident expert on bands, Mark, is here now to tell us about this latest craze. Okay, what about it? Yeah, you know, for any parent who's really got a tween or a teenage girl, including myself, One Direction has become really a household name. The British boy band got their start on the X Factor, and they got a one-way ticket to superstardom. Now, getting tickets and all their other merchandise is costing parents some big bucks. You're insecure, don't know what for. Just turning heads when you walk through the door. This is what it means to be a Directioner, completely obsessed and in love with the boy band One Direction. They're goofy, they're weird, they're insane, they have so much fun. Leo, Leo Harry, Zane, Louie, and Nile. Nile. These girls not only know their names, through social media magazines and even trading cards. Louie Tomlinson. Fans feel like they personally know each member. Well, my favorite, Zane. Leo was doing this, like, eyebrow dance, Nile Horan. My favorite's Harry. Jordan Travis literally wears her love on her sleeves, from her One Direction sweatshirt all the way down to her fingernails. She remembers the first time she heard him. I was like, whoa, these guys are really good. And I just fell in love instantly. And since then, One Direction has been on the right trajectory to win a huge fan base. They all have so much personality. Like, each one of them is so different, but they're amazing together. Like, one day I'll be like, oh my gosh, Harry. And then I'll be like, Niall, and I'll switch to like, Liam. And like, I can't even decide. They're all just really good. <laughs> like many boy bands of the past, One Direction has found the secret formula. You've got that one thing. Their music, it really speaks to you. It's more than just being catchy. I mean, it has true meaning to it and value. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. Oh, when you smile at the ground, it ain't hard to tell. You don't know, oh, oh. You don't know you're beautiful. I am, like, in love with them now. I am obsessed with every songs. I know all the words by heart and everything. And Bill's mom quickly noticed her daughter's new obsession. I keep calling them New Direction, but apparently it's One Direction. It's kind of like an inside joke because I think of New Edition. But thanks to One Direction's marketing magic, even mom knows who they are now. There's iPods, there's videos, and everything's more accessible. And the girls have to have it all. It's very expensive. I'm sure you could see just Jordan had one uh, sweatshirt on. I don't even know what that costs, but it's just expensive. CDs, posters, the concert tickets. It's honestly like World War III getting these tickets. It's crazy. The highly anticipated U.S. tour had girls across America frantically fretting over tickets. The first pre-sale they had for this year, the site opened up one minute and we crashed three servers. And I stayed online for seven and a half hours trying to get these tickets. And when I finally got through, they were sold out and I was honestly really upset. Get out, get out. Unfortunately, one of the moms did get tickets, so these girls will be at the Tampa concert this summer, and that's the reason to celebrate in true Directioner style. Happy teens, a profitable demographic that's only headed in one direction, much like the popular boy band they love so much. machine they're ready to take stage themselves you know moms and dads get ready to shell out a little more if your teen is a fan one direction dvd comes out next week may 28th actually about a week and a half and then that'll be released as well they're performing live in tampa kelly i know you already know this june 29th oh yeah i heard all about it all right very good thank you mark a big